The Tesla Model Y could be an even bigger deal than the Model 3 if Tesla can pull it off. Hi, I'm Ben Solms with Teslanomics, and today we're going to take a look at everything we know about the Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model Y is a compact SUV built on top of the Model 3 platform, offering similar capacity and range as the Model X, but for a more economical price. Before I go any further, I need to mention that Tesla hasn't published any official details about the Model Y. Elon has made several statements on Twitter and on different earnings calls and other meetings that he's been in, but there's really nothing official out there. So what we've done here is piece together what we do know with some of the other surrounding bits of information that help paint this picture for you. What we do know so far is that the Model Y is scheduled to arrive in late 2019 or early 2020. Before this can really happen though, Tesla has a lot of hills to climb. For example, Tesla currently only has one facility making cars, and that's in Fremont, California, just outside San Francisco. Tesla acquired this plant, formerly named Numi, in 2010 for a staggeringly cheap price of $42 million. The Tesla factory, as it's known today, or by enthusiasts, just the Fremont plant, has two manufacturing lines. One of the lines makes the Model S and X, while the other produces the Model 3. The Fremont plant runs three shifts to try and maximize efficiency and meet the huge customer demand for their cars. Elon has famously called these next few months as the Model 3 rolls out production hell due to the intense schedule that they're trying to meet. This is all great for Tesla, but it poses a big challenge with the Model Y. Where are they going to make it? Likely they'll go with the state offering the most incentives. This can be another boon for Tesla as states will be competing for their new plant by offering major tax incentives. Nevada, for example, gave Tesla nearly 1.5 billion in tax abatements and other incentives to win the bid for their new gigafactory. The reason states would consider this is because of the high paid jobs that it brings. The auto industry in the US has been struggling for years and a plant like this would likely win big favor with voters for politicians and revitalize the local economy. My guess is they'll put the plant for the Model Y somewhere that is close to the Gigafactory near Reno, Nevada. And that's because that's where the batteries are likely to be made. So it'll make sense to have good shipping lines and have something relatively nearby so you don't have to ship all these parts all over the country. Now it makes sense that Tesla would want to continue to make new models of cars available to people, but why this one? Why would they make a compact SUV crossover? Well, it's no secret that Tesla makes incredibly safe cars, which appeal directly to many families. I mean, it appeals to anyone that doesn't want to get hurt in an accident, but when you have kids, you have this extra sense of caution that you just can't escape. And while millions would love a Model S or X, it's simply outside of their price range. In the US, the crossover has quickly become the family car of choice. Already in 2017 through August, over 3.4 million people have bought crossovers, which is up 7% from the previous year, making it the fastest growing category of vehicles sold in the United States. This all adds up to a major opportunity for Tesla. If they can make the safest, best looking, and affordable crossover, then they could potentially sell millions of these per year. Elon even stated recently that the priority vehicle development after the Model 3 would be the Model Y, the compact SUV, because that's also a car that we expect to see demand in the 500 to 1 million unit per year level. This all just leaves us with one final question. How? Well, there are a couple major advancements that Tesla is looking to use here in the manufacturing process, which could really help further things along with the Model Y. Most notably, the flexible circuit technology. The flex circuit is a system to connect different components in the car, which can be molded and changed into different shapes. This matters because it could significantly reduce the amount of wiring needed in the car. Already, the Model 3 has half as much wiring as the S and X, but with these flex circuits, the Model Y could have an additional 95% reduction from there. To put that in perspective, if the wiring of the S, Model 3, and Model Y were all laid out, Usain Bolt could run the distance of the S wiring in about five minutes, he could run the wiring of the Model 3 in about two and a half minutes, and he could run the distance of the Model Y wiring in about 9.58 seconds. So with a dramatically simplified manufacturing process and a growing category of buyers that want this type of vehicle, the Model Y could become their most popular car in the next few years. And if you're wondering what it looks like, all we really have to go on right now is this teaser image, but there is an artist who did a really cool rendering of what it could look like. I'll put a link to that description of that process they went through to come up with that rendering down below if you're interested. Make sure to subscribe here and on our website at teslanomics.co if you wanna stay updated about the Tesla Model Y as well as everything else Tesla has going on. And remember, when you free the data, your mind will follow. Thanks for watching.